Well, exciting to be back in the room here, in the podcast room, recording with you guys. Uh, we haven't been sitting here for a while. We've had that backlog of podcasts for a while. Still lots more to come. Yeah, some uh, epic stories. Really good ones, yeah. Yeah, I know really. we were going through those, some of those yesterday and this morning again. And yeah, when you've done that many, you think, whoa, okay, there's, oh yeah, that was great. Oh yeah, that was a good chat too. Oh, that was amazing. Can't wait. So, but excited to be back here. Lots happened uh, since the podcast started. And we've done how many episodes? Or- well and truly over 100. Um, wow. On top of my head, I can't remember exactly how many we've published, but we've published probably, I don't know, 104, yeah. which is, yeah, pretty crazy. I, I didn't think that was going to be a thing yeah. when we started recording these. Mm. Um, and yeah, like you said, that I think we have about a, 10 podcasts busy being edited, awesome stories with builders in Melbourne, mm-hmm. in Adelaide, um, and some other people in oh, the yeah, industry. Oh, yeah, all of those episodes as well. <laughs> yeah, so there's, right. yeah. But today, yeah, we're recording this podcast because we've got some awesome news. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Before we jump into that, though, um, as you said, we've done over 100, uh, well, we've published over 100 episodes. Yeah. Still plenty more to come and um, exciting stuff to come as well, which we'll be announcing today. Uh, but also, um, one you mentioned, you never thought you'd be here um, in terms of just the number of episodes we've done. Uh, and that's always the big thing is when you start this, are we going to be able to sustain it? Yeah. Uh, Do you remember how it started, actually? I think so. If we have the same story in mind. Please remind me, yeah. um, Well, I kept chatting to builders and they kept asking me to be put in touch with um, some of our builders, one in particular. And then I was like, man, this guy needs to get work done. I can't keep putting these people in touch. And then, But then I would put them in touch or I would get confirmation from this builder. Hey, do you mind if I give you a contact detail to this person? And he's like, yeah, it's fine, no problem at all. You know, I love you guys, happy to have a chat with them about working with you. And then I would follow up the prospective builder that I was talking to a week or two later and they hadn't spoken to him. No, I've, I've been busy or I didn't want to disturb him or and I was like, this happens a lot. Okay, so then I started going, okay, well, what, what would you ask him? Because maybe I can ask him and I can just put that down in paper. And then I, it just happened quite a few times. Put that, those notes together and then reached out to him and I said, look, do you mind if we do a podcast? Just sit down, conversation. I've got all these questions that I've been accumulating from all these builders that want to work with us. Mm. Uh, they're just sitting on the fence. Uh, they want to hear from another builder who's working with us. Uh, he said, yeah, sure. And we went to that podcast and that was a huge success. I, yeah. And we, I still get people coming back to me. That was now, that was a long time ago. Yeah. But still get people coming saying, I, I watched that episode and that resonated with me. Can we please chat? Or let's let's work together. Yeah. So. I mean, since then, yeah, like you... We started recording a fair few like client interviews mm-hmm. and yeah, you were like always asking the builders that. And then, yeah, what what actually happened? Like how, when did we get into like a real consistent basis? Like, because that was just a few one-off almost like client interviews that we did. Well, it started with like real educational podcasts that JP was doing. And I think you as well, Kunai, yeah. where you were like top five books to read right now. I just remember that. That was a while ago as well. That's a while yeah. ago. Um, and, and things like that. I remember that being like very foundational. That's when things mm. started to really build momentum. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I watched this, I don't know if I've told you guys, but I watched this cycling podcast and then I was like, well, we're doing a fair few of these like podcasts and it, it kind of just inspired me to like, like, I guess, come to you guys and go, let's, let's do this on an ongoing basis. Mm. Let's, let's have a chat with ourselves as well. Yeah. Like not just clients yeah. where we can, I guess, deliver value in terms of marketing and yeah. what we're seeing in the building space. I think the other thing, I'm not sure if we've actually talked about it on a podcast before, but a big driver, I know we've discussed in the past, big driver for me, um, and I think our builders will resonate with this, is you want to work with more ideal clients. Mm. Our most ideal client, like for a builder as well, is an educated client. Yeah. But the, we can't spend enough time with our builders one-on-one to educate, to transfer information so that we can you know have higher level conversations and on that so the podcast offers a fantastic platform to create this educational content to then put out there for builders that work with us and others that might work with anyone or they do things themselves or whatever but just become better educated on how to go about better communicating their value and and better differentiating themselves in their desired niche in their in their market yeah absolutely and uh, yeah, definitely like, I guess it's, it's probably an outlet for us because I think we've just, we love doing this now. Mm. Like you said, it's, we're back in the podcast room. We haven't done this for a while. 
and yeah i've missed it quite a bit but it is a real good outlet because we are talking to a lot of different builders like loads i mean we've got a workshop coming up in perth next friday yeah that's yeah. epic if you are in perth join us find yeah. a link somewhere um with hazard co build exact builders coach and a few other businesses we're like collabing together so that's gonna be epic but like anything i think if i'm just kind of going back to that first few podcasts that we did it's like you start something with an idea and then as you progress things start changing and you start realizing oh this is actually really good or this mm. is really valuable mm. um so yeah. we're going to tell them the news pretty soon before or should yeah. I just hang yeah. on yeah. oh let's just, just go a little, little bit one more question i wanted to <laughs> put to you guys yeah um i mean this video started what more than 12 years ago now yeah yeah um yeah doubt that you guys had this in mind when you started it back then mm. you know the, the platforms that we have today and, and the opportunities today weren't back weren't there back then in terms of the, the podcast specifically because to look at everything would be i think maybe too big a question but the podcast specifically um did you ever have in mind or um the kind of impact that you guys are having on the market today that when we started it, the the podcast specifically so like two nah, years ago not really okay it's very organic like it's it was- been organic yeah and then like you obviously as you go along you start seeing the benefits of it um and i mean you kind of know those benefits before you like if, if you're about to go launch a podcast you kind of know the benefits of what it's going to mm. kind of like create for your benef- your business yeah um but yeah the benefits have been like massive and yeah. um yeah yeah well i, I know we'll, i've got some questions planned for you guys to dive into that mm. just to um, I guess outline some of that impact yeah. that it's having and, and the feedback we're getting as well. Yeah. And the feedback is a big part um, uh, in terms of, it's played a big part in today's uh, news. Um, oh, I can't wait to tell them this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like having a baby. What, what, what's happening? Yeah, no. um, <laughs> we'll get to it. We'll, we will. We most certainly will be getting into it. Um, but just to uh, push that a little bit further. When you guys are looking back, what uh, for you guys have been, I guess the question would be the most rewarding part of this podcast? I think for me, it's like the feedback. Yeah. Like I'll be, I sat with a builder client this morning having coffee. I got to the office, sent me a photo of the coffee shop near our office. He's like, you want to grab coffee? I'm like, yep, I'll be down there in a sec. Yeah. And then, yeah, I told him the news about this mm. and uh, he's pretty excited. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's like just hearing that feedback of what builders are saying like listening to the podcast Mm. and even just getting little photos of them like driving in their car of their head unit and then it's got (laughs) builders and marketing podcasts on there and it happens a lot yeah the head unit thing it happens a lot i don't know about like if you've seen it yeah i get a lot of those texts yeah um listening to this episode i'll get a photo of someone and they're driving i'm like oh yeah i've got a long drive Mm. i'm listening um at this episode for the third time or i've started again yeah this long drive I think a, a real like feedback like thing that I love is when builders say I'm I've been through your podcast three times. Yeah, like we've got over a hundred episodes right now. <laughs> I'm like, when do you listen to this? Yeah. So anyway, that's pretty inspiring. Mm. Yeah, that is, and I think definitely when you hear people like uh, just this last week, um, although I'm I'm jumping a bit ahead with some stories here, but when you get that message or I get a text going, man, absolutely love this podcast. Um, you know, and we may have recorded it a few weeks ago or months ago, but we only say publish it this week or last week, perhaps. And they're like, oh man, this is amazing. I've, I'm busy working on making those changes in my business. Yeah. Mm, that's really, that's really cool, cool when you're hearing things like that. Yeah. Mm. I think it's like thinking back to like what's been the biggest standout to me. It's like hearing the stories, like each builder is so unique, mm. so different. Mm. And I think what it's opened, it's opened my eyes to like, man, there are so many amazing companies out there Absolutely. all with their different strengths and everything and there's so much that we can learn from each other yeah to just do better for the whole industry for everyone i think that's a i like what you said there that was actually a thought i was trying to finish in my mind there but the idea that each builder is so so different and they can differentiate themselves so so differently yeah. what we often see is when we have conversations with them every conversation is different mm. and so that's also why i love the podcast as a platform because conversation I have with that builder is different to that builder which means what comes the outcomes of that conversation can be slightly different you know that the solutions we come up with with creative solutions for that builder might look different to that builder but both would benefit from both those we just don't have enough time in the day 
to have that much conversation with those builders to mm. come up with all of the creative solutions. And so that's why I love this because if we can draw some um, ideas and, and, and feedback and what's been working um, from a range of builders, a range of markets, different niches, and then bring it here to then um, distribute. Yeah. yeah and I think, yeah, like one thing for me is like going back to when we started, it was about educating you know, future clients um, by telling kind of like the story of clients that we've been working with. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it's about like creating that trust in our, you know, potential clients. And then it obviously evolved. And then if you look at like us as uh, at, at the core of things, like this video is like some of, some of our key principles, like keywords, if I had to like say it is like, one is story, one is like um, value. Mm. Another one's like leverage. So we call it like the fishy effect. Yep. So the input output thing. So just that's to help people understand the behind the logo. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. It fishy. looks like a little fish. Yeah, uh, but the fishy effect is what exactly, Quano? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like the input and the output. So the input, we always believe in like doing activities and things that where the input is X, but then the output is like ten X. Yeah. So those like three keywords, I think for me is pretty important. Like moving forward with this podcast mm -hmm. so naturally like the story side we are storytellers we love story we believe in the power of story it's probably one of the most powerful things especially in communication um yeah in this world like i believe yeah that's why there's movies shows yeah. that's why you tell your kids stories it's impactful like it it grabs people's attention it's um, a human thing it's yeah it's a human thing like i was i started like listening to a new, you know yeah like a new yeah. book last night called um buy back your time and the, the author, Dan Martel, he starts by telling the story and I'm engaged straight away. Mm. Whereas like a lot of these books, you know, they start out and they're like, they're just like tactical or logical or whatever. But this guy, like he, if you listen to the book, like I've got an audible, you're just hooked straight away. Mm. He's like, I'm running away from the cops and this and this. And I'm, you're like, you're hooked. Dan Martel is running away from the cops. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so like story, like I believe it's, it's, it's a basic yeah, human need, yeah. like food. Yeah. Like we all crave story. So the, the greatest businesses, most successful people that have done awesome things, they use story, they whether they know it or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're great storytellers because their yeah. communication is a form of, yeah, it's storytelling. Yeah. Which is, yeah. So, yeah, so that's the story side of things. And then kind of like the next thing around, what was the next one? Well, leverage. Leverage. Yeah. yeah. The fishy effect. Yeah, leverage. So, yeah, telling the story of builders, um, not just connecting two builders to have a chat over the phone is way more impactful because, yeah, now a hundred, a thousand, a hundred thousand mm -hmm. other builders can now watch and, and observe the story and learn from the story. And someone's like life can basically, not, not entirely, but can be summed up in an episode, like especially yeah. a lot of the highlights. Yeah. A lot of the lessons they learned throughout their journey of being in business mm. instead of going through that themselves. Yeah. And I think that's why builders, that's why I think we're getting such good feedback from builders is because they, they say, I'm learning from these other builders. Yeah. Like, I haven't even come up against this problem yet, but I know it's going to happen. But not, now I know how to fix the problem yeah. before I even get to it. Mm. I, think, I, think, I think Carly was reading a book uh, by Jimmy Quick. Um, and she was reading it for me and it made, I haven't read the book. She kind of gave me a bit of a synopsis of it, but there was a, a quote in there that he gave, which is, this is why reading is so good. Absorbing that a resource through a book is someone writes a book. They've put a lot of work into that. Let's say that they've done their life's research, putting uh, to, to be put in that book. You pay $20 for that book. Yeah. That's or, huge. or 15 or 30 or that's all you pay. That's, mm. that's nothing. For, for that amount and then it's up to you as to how you want to absorb it interpret it and then implement it but that's insane mm. that you get access to that for 20 bucks yeah exactly and then you think of um when i think of the podcast where i'm going with this is for a lot of our builders that don't necessarily have time to sit down and read they're very busy but they're driving from site maybe or things like that so the podcast then becomes a great platform for that and so if yeah um 
Hundred percent. So the value, which is the next key word, yeah, that I was saying before. Sorry, that was me going on yeah. to your, your leverage. Yeah. yeah. So like leverage and value probably like goes hand in hand together. But yeah, the value of it is it's crazy. Like the, a, they don't have to pay anything. They just go on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or YouTube or whatever, press play, mm. and now they can download on a weekly basis mm. another builder's like life philosophy and business yeah. philosophy and everything and you yeah. think in order for them to achieve that by themselves they would have to have gone out and find someone with the background that they want to learn from mm. or experiences they want to learn from so one all the hours finding that person two building a relationship with them to the point that you can ask those kind of questions to extract that story stories and experiences then three make the time to do that yeah that's it's impossible yeah. almost. and then do that on repeat all the time yeah and yeah what would you guys say is it so important for builders to be able to collaborate with other builders or not collaborate but kind of learn from others and kind of um do you know what i mean like connect with others and yeah what they've done and how they do things like why is that such an important thing for a builder to then succeed yeah you know what i love there andre what's that is just you dropping gold with questions (laughs) that is a gold question andre Andre is the question he is he is the man that's everyone in this team learns the question (laughs) the question man but i feel like everyone um well Anyone who's ever been interviewed by you, I know you yeah. spent a lot of time investing in our team, training them to be able to dig deep, ask the right kind of questions. And that's yeah, why and, that, and that's why the stories are like they are. Like, totally. Yeah. What, yeah. what I mean is like the our client stories that we yeah. create for them, um, okay. why they engage us. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's like Elon Musk says, like you've, the, the person that asks the greatest questions yeah. is the person that's going to get the furthest or like, do the best with it yeah yeah so. and like steve jobs says what did he, he say? says oh i was trying to remember the quote before like, was it the, but he's like the, the smartest the, the, people in the room or you judge the smartest person no, in the room no, based no. on the <laughs> question <laughs> something, something like, something like that <laughs> steve jobs has a lot of quotes but okay. this one okay. whoever tells a story controls the narrative uh, that like is the world that's huge that's yeah. powerful like if you look at any media or anything around mm. the world now yeah look at the narrative like whoever yeah that's, that's why yeah. it's important for builders to tell their story totally um yeah. Well, I, I, I forget who it is now, but you know, if you're not the whole concept of in, in, let's say your sales process or project management, if you are not, if you don't have a process and you're not running that process and running your client to the process, then you're following their process. Yeah. You're following Which, their you know what we should do one day for every client. Yeah. Definitely. I've got a podcast idea. Yeah. We just ramble random quotes. <laughs> <laughs> like just ra- <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah. You're only as good as you know, your assistants. <laughs> you're you're like, you're like <laughs> yeah. Just like popular quotes. But yeah, there's a reason why quotes are cool because yeah. They're... Um, okay, so last question before we go to the announcement, I know it's a bit of an intro. Um, is there a particular episode or moment for you guys each where it kind of helps solidify for you that yeah, this is why we do this? What why we do the podcast as a whole? Yeah, mate. Oh, there's so many. Especially some of the ones that we recently recorded mm. that we're still busy editing uh, yeah. because it's pretty fresh in our minds and it, it was in Adelaide mm-hmm. and Melbourne. Mm-hmm. I think the ones that have been the most vulnerable mm. Uh, mm. where the builder has been like completely open of like from the outside, you think he's looking like this and he's smashing it, yeah. getting all the builds he wants, getting all the clients he wants. But then he comes like in this podcast and he shares his story and he's very vulnerable and then he kind of he kind of tells that story, and I think then then hearing other builders go, you know, that one really stood out to me. Mm. Like hearing that, because I think there's a sense of like hope and empowerment mm. for other builder watching that, and going, mm. wow, the grass mm. isn't just green there on the other side. Yeah, I, I agree 100 percent with you because again, like this perception of builders through their marketing, it looks like they've got it all together, mm. right? And I was talking to a builder client of ours last week, and he was saying like he was talking about this other builder client that we have um about like how much like the perception like yeah. how much he looks up to this builder and how it's got it all together and all that and yeah and i mean it doesn't mean that builder doesn't have everything together but yeah he's he's human we know him better all that kind of stuff and yeah i think i think it's been inspirational because the whole instagram life and everything it there's like it's good but then some of the bad sides are definitely like people feel pretty crap about themselves if yeah. they are just on instagram yeah. looking at other people's lives yeah so yeah that vulnerability and builders opening up and it's like no it is actually pretty tough yeah um it, it makes other builders feel like 
wow, look, he's accomplishing stuff and he's human and he's got all these problems. His problems didn't just disappear. Let's go out there. Let's smash it. Let's, mm-hmm. let's keep going. Let's go hard. That, that's pretty inspiring. Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, Andre, I blew totally past your question. The, I was just, I was just thinking that. Earlier. I was like, what was the question again? <laughs> um, I can't quite remember the question, but um, the uh, my answer was going to be along the lines of um, in the building industry, the it can be very and is very uh, lonely. What's the word? Lonely. Um, isolating. Isolating, isolating was the question. That was the answer. Uh, the yeah, board, that's right. Word. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something we, we definitely hear a lot of our guys. And that's some of the direct feedback we get from, uh, it might be the groups that we are part of creating or the communities that we, we are create, uh, or creating or the workshops or webinars. When, when we can bring those guys who are of like mind together, the feedback is amazing. Yeah. And they all of a sudden feel like, you know what? I'm not failing. Mm. I'm just learning. You know, yeah. I'm learning or I'm winning, you know, um, and they can share. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. And so for me, that's, hmm. what was your question? That was a great question. Yeah, that's a great thing. <laughs> that's right. Andre will think of another good question. <laughs> yeah, he's good. Yeah. Should we share the news? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, yeah. go for it. So what is it? What is it? What is it? All right. Should, <laughs> who wants to do it? <laughs> I'll do it. All right. Should I lead it? Lead, yeah, lead like, it. Okay, lead okay, it. okay. So when we started the podcast, I can't remember what it was called. I think it was just Biz Video. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it didn't make any sense to builders. So unless they actually go and listen to it, yeah. then they go, oh, it's, it's for builders. This video was like, it, you know, whatever. And then, so we m- created the name Builders and Marketing because a lot of the podcasts we were talking about was around marketing and so mm. on. And then as time went on, we identified like, obviously marketing is just a small part of life and business. Yeah. It's a component, right? A very important um, component. But then the stories we started telling um, and getting builders in stories they started telling Mm -hmm. wasn't just marketing. Like we do talk about marketing and sales and client acquisition, getting your brand out there and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it it evolved to more of the business, but then also more of the person and the mindset and the, like the training they do and -hmm. And the journey they've been on Mm. and yeah. The, The whole story. Yeah. Whereas marketing is like a part of that. Do you feel like um, there was that re- that revelation moment where we realized that for, to run a successful building company, it's a lot more of a wholesome yeah, thing. It's, there's a lot, com- yeah. there's a lot, lot of, lot of, lot of components pieces. and pieces yeah. to the recipe. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, we've been wrestling with this idea of a name change for quite a while now. And I know we've come up with like 30 different names with team and like mm-hmm. testing it all in our like thought, like thought experiments and yeah we finally decided on one and it just came to us and it wasn't like it wasn't any of those like 30 or 40 or whatever yeah. we wrote down so the big announcement is well what? hold on a sec hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so so the podcast and i'm if you don't believe me just go back and watch the last 20 episodes right it's the 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 name builders and marketing is a mismatch to the episodes mm. and the content and the stories that are out there so we decided to change the name. So that's why. Okay. So and the announcement is the name change. That's, We're changing the, that's the, name. the big news. Okay. That's the exciting and the, news. And all right. Well, can you please tell us what the name is? Yeah. And then we'll dive into more about what's gone into the, the decision behind it yeah. and, and how it's come about. And the vision. And the vision. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We've got some good ideas. Okay. Do you want to share what the new Andre, name is? What's the new name? So, so the old name is Builders and Marketing. Which is now Inspired Builders. Yeah. Boom, so boom, there you boom. go. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Okay. So next question is what led us to the decision of changing the name to Inspired Builders? To Inspired Builders. Okay. So, I mean, I just mentioned that the mismatch between Builders and Marketing and the previous, like all our episodes, I've kind of tackled that. But yeah, why Inspired Builders? Hmm. Do you want to talk about that? Hmm, that's a good question. I think if you look back at the feedback and like the core sort of thing that's come out of it, it's been like that feeling of, someone listens to a podcast and it might be something small they pick up and they go, I feel inspired again. Yeah. You might have be having the, the, the crappiest morning. We kept hearing the word inspired. Yeah. yeah. Inspired. Yeah. Inspired. 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 And that's a big thing. Like it's building is such a challenging game and you need that inspiration sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you wake up, you're like, why am I even building? 
Yeah, how many times do we hear that? Yeah, from, from our literally from builders we're talking some to, of the best or even builders. our builders. Like, yeah. From again, Instagram life looks like they're crushing it, and he's like, "Man, yeah. I was in this situation this last week, and I asked myself, why the beep am I doing this?" Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, so, it, happened, it came up yeah. a lot. And why did you, Japs? Why, why do you feel like? Well, I found it. I'll, I'll get to that. I found it quite funny that we came up with all these names, and then in the end, this wasn't one of the names. And um, it ended up being that we just, I guess, looked back over just the words and the feedback and inspired kept coming up. You know, guys kept talking about, well, I, like I said, I've fallen in love with my business again and I feel inspired to go out there and, and do this. Or, or, you know what, there is light at the tunnel, light at the end of the tunnel, and I'm inspired to, to push. Yeah. And a lot of it came from like, yeah, I listened to XYZ episode the other day with this guy and I'm inspired. Like, yeah. It, mm. and man yeah and then like that and that's a big thing like leading your building business you need to be inspired sometimes because you got to lead people mm. and so if you're not inspired then you're unable to really do that mm. um, and that's why the, the inspiration thing and being inspired and hearing from other builders creates that inspiration in you to mm. then inspire not only your building team but also your clients 100%. and everyone it's just, just this, this ripple effect totally you yeah. need to First of all, be inspired yourself and then that way you can inspire your team because your team, uh, this is something, again, feedback we get from a lot of our guys who go through our process and we create amazing stories for them is their team give them the feedback uh, or they can just see it um, in that the, the team was there to punch out work for that week or maybe the team was there, if they're a bit more inspired, there to punch out that project rather than the bigger picture which is often in the builder's mind, but he's not communicating that. Mm. So by communicate, we help our builders communicate the bigger vision to their team, which inspires the whole team. But then once the builder is then in, in a better environment, he's feeling more inspired. He's listening to the podcast as well. But then it allows him to go and inspire his clients. And that is something that we have seen, uh, you guys, we've talked about this, is becoming more and more important. Yes, the market was crazy you know, a few years back and you could pick and choose what you wanted. Now this is more of a, a real market where it's you got to be smart you got to be That's doing right. all that you possibly can to yeah. to get the right jobs or and evolve right? and evolve totally because i think a big dream for a lot of people not just builders like any business kind of owner is to have a business that just like runs smooth mm. no problems and and that's it and i mean if you look at like history like blockbuster went out of business because they didn't want to evolve mm. they just wanted to stay stagnant and then Netflix came around and then just completely dominated. Yeah. Um, and that's the same, like, again, I just listened to this book last night again, like the Buy Back Your Time. Mm. This guy basically, I can't remember that. Like he gave three, like kind of like three, re, like three things that are happening to your business at any point in time. But he said, like, basically, if you're not growing, you're, you're dying, right? Like the business. Yeah. And like a, a lot of things will happen from there. Like, you know, if you're not inspired, yeah, your team well like over time yeah. they won't be inspired and then yeah kind of you might lose some of your key stars and, and yeah. what i was going to add to that is once you're in that better position you're inspired it allows you to inspire your your clients your potential mm -hmm. clients and that is so so important especially in the current market where we're hearing about guys who have deals that fall over the last minute and they might tell you it's for finance and yes many times it is but you think if that if that prospective client of yours was so sold and if we shifted the words just to ins incredibly inspired to do this project, yeah. so true. they would move heaven and earth. They would be mm -hmm. selling extra assets in order to do the project. So what's sometimes I believe, and we've had these chats, the gap potentially there is, is that your prospective client is not inspired enough mm -hmm. that this project or this renovation or this new home is going to have the impact on them that they want. Mm -hmm. And when you're not confident in a decision, you don't buy. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, you find any reason why, like you go, ah, uh, interest rate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, that's, guys, I'm, I'm really excited about this. And I mean, again, it doesn't really change the way we do things too much, but now we've got a huge emphasis on, guys, let's keep telling really good stories mm. of builders. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah. So to be really explicit, a big part of the feedback we're getting was people are inspired in, in many examples, but often when we would ha tell a story of a builder. Mm. Uh, or a builder come on and tell their story uh, and so that has gone into okay well we need to be telling more of those stories yeah. to inspire more people 
Yeah. Um, how do you think the name change uh, better reflects our mission and the content that we want to be putting on this podcast moving forward? I think it's just more, in, again, more in line with what we're actually putting out already. Like I said, it, it's we'll always evolve. We'll, we'll, we're always striving to make the podcast better and tell better stories and all of that. But yeah, the path that we have been on and the path that we're move, going on now, so let's say the last 20, 30, 40, 50, 80 episodes and the next 10, 20, 30 episodes, like it's more in line with that path, Inspired mm-hmm. Builders Podcast, instead of Builders Marketing. I think a big thing is like, some builders have marketing all figured out and we don't want them to go on Apple Podcasts or whatever, scroll and then find app, um, Builders Marketing Podcast and then go, oh, I'm sorted. Yeah. And then they miss out on all that gold. Yes. So I think that is a big reason why. I think it just resonates more with, um, yeah, kind of like, I don't want to say a broader market, but it just allows builders that wouldn't normally go on Builders and Marketing Podcasts yeah because I think it's marketing to go on this now and actually get value from that as well. Yeah. And I think for me, the hope is that it resonates with those who are already feeling inspired mm. and go, yeah, I'm an inspired builder. Mm. I feel inspired. That resonates with me. Let's see what that's about. Uh, but also those that have lost that spark yeah. Yeah. and they want to get back to that place of where I was inspired. You know, when mm. I first got my license and I was 10 foot tall and bulletproof and um, had, had, hadn't had any clients from hell yet, you know, but to get that spark back get love back and, and feel inspired again. And yeah. to inspire their team as well. Yeah. And if, yes, yeah, so you go. And another, yeah, no, you go. You're on that same line. Go for it. No, I've got a different line. <laughs> no, I was going to say, um, if we're sitting here in like a year from now. Yeah. And we go, man, like this has been the, the feedback we've been getting from builders or this is how we've impacted or how the stories from other builders have impacted builders out there. What is that? This guy. Oh, the question man again. This guy. Strikes again. All right. Let's answer that question before we forget it. <laughs> For me, for me, I would say I look back to the stories that we hear in the feedback. And so for me, I want to, I, I think of someone I had, one of our builders I had coffee with just yesterday and he mentioned that he reached out to one of the builders that he's been, they, he's heard, you know, maybe once or twice or a few times on a podcast um, and the guy was happy to chat with him and they had a, a fantastic chat, you know, and he was, it was just, I could see this guy in front of me just glowing. Mm. He was inspired. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. Um, and so to hear more of that, hear more of, uh, I've reached out to so-and-so and I, and we caught up, you know, because so and so's in my city, you know, Adelaide or Brisbane or Melbourne or Sydney or That's Wagga cool. or wherever, Perth, you know, Margaret River. Yeah, they're all over. Um, Auckland, Wellington. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that to me is is something I'm looking forward to is hearing more of those stories because that's yeah, really what the opportunity inspires me yeah. when it comes yeah. to what we do. Because who knows what comes out of it exactly like there. Yeah. Um, the opportunities that can be created from it. Yeah. And that's, that's really exciting. I didn't think about this until now since, since Andre asked that really awesome question. Um, <laughs> like I would love to in a year from now create like a mega episode yeah. of like the golden bits of all the episodes we've ever done. Yeah. And then just it's like the full inspo episode. So when you need a when you need a you need ins- a pick up, yeah, when yeah. Need, yeah. When you need a pick up yeah. as a builder or whatever, yeah, you you press play and then you just walk out of there and you're like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that's number one. My my second one is um, goal. So we recently created an Instagram account just for the podcast, mm. and at the moment it's Builders and Marketing Podcast. After this episode, it'll be Inspired Builders. Um, There'll be a link in this episode, but the goal for me there is to grow that thing to a million followers. So we can get nice. this, like really get this podcast out there to more builders, to have more impact. Yeah. And then another one, I've got a fair few. Hit me. That's is, all right. Hit um, yeah, like it's all about like telling builder stories. Okay. And they don't necessarily- Oh, I've got one too. Okay. <laughs> they don't necessarily have to be clients, client of ours, right? So what we're actually doing is there will be a, a landing page pretty soon where um, people can apply, builders can apply to be on the podcast as well, all right? Because we have had a lot of builders like reach out to us and go, hey, can we be on the podcast? Because they obviously see the benefit of having that in their business because they can tell their story. Um, yeah, another feedback thing, right? that I hear from clients is like they use the episodes 
where they've been on with us to give it to their prospective oh, clients. Oh, don't steal mine. No. Oh. <laughs> that, was your, that was yours? Yeah, but I've got a but story. Elaborate. I've got a story to go on with All right, well, you so. tell a story. You, no, you okay. tell so us a story. Mine. It is something we do here fairly often, and that's um, also been, again, one of these parts when it comes to the inspired because we just talked about inspiring the builders and helping our builders inspire their clients. And that is, yeah, we hear that more and more of our clients and we now encourage our clients if you're on our podcast use it mm. obviously we're going to help them you know put it through um bv amplify getting out there on ads and all that sort of stuff for them um but then they need to also manually be sending it to a prospective client or someone who they're wanting to reach out to because it can give a far more extended in-depth yeah. background to them and it starts building that relationship again because the human mind like if you are a builder right now listening watching this right now you don't know that like your mind Consciously, you know it's 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 your car speakers playing or whatever. But subconsciously, your mind doesn't know the difference whether I am sitting right next to you in the car right now talking about this, or you're just listening to the speakers. Like you don't know the difference. Mm. So that's pretty unique. So that tells us that um, your audience, if they listen, if or like prospective clients, mm. if they watch or listen to these podcasts, one minute, two minute, three minute, like the amount of minutes of relationship that you're building with mm. them and that perception grows which means you're building trust with them yes and to add to that is because i've had the chat with um, a, a builder before and he's like oh yeah but we, i'll often have several catch-ups with the client you know before and i build relationship there and i said yeah several catch-ups that's one thing two in those catch-ups it's not just you talking and them listening that'd be man i'd walk after that yeah it's you asking some questions and them doing most of the talking yeah um, most of the time if you're doing your job well you're asking the client about their project, their family, their that sort of thing. Whereas a podcast, they don't, they can't interject. Yeah, they have to sit and listen to you for twenty minutes, yeah. forty five minutes. Yeah, yeah, and you can show like like it's it's you telling your story and you're showing you're inspiring them again. Yeah. So again, inspired builders podcast. Yeah. But do, sorry to go back to my thing. A story attached to that is um, we actually had one of our clients message us or email us or, or told us on, on a call or something that he had someone. Um, call them on a weekend, you know, and was like, I want to, I want to build with you. I just finished watching that podcast episode of yours um, where you're on, you know, with uh, this video and that was amazing. Can we please, no can we please chat, you know, and I've been following you for a while. So yeah. been following them for a while, had seen that the overview business overview store that we created for this company and then um, came across the, the podcast and just that really resonated and that was like a 40 minute podcast or something like that and then he booked a on-site consultation within let's say 10 days and then i think he may have even charged for that and she was happy for it and then went to that i no, didn't charge for it but there and then at that on-site consult signed prelim agreement let's right. go let's do this awesome, so you know and then, and she was well connected well educated just a unicorn client, happy to go ahead. That's it. Let's roll. Yeah. And that's trust again, a relationship and emotional connection. Yeah. That's so all good. the fluffy keywords we always say. It's actually true. It's real. Yeah. 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 It's real. Yeah. As fluffy as it sounds. Yeah. It's awesome. You said you had a lot more though. Sorry, I interjected. No, that's, that's all. Okay. Like, I don't know. Your story was epic, man. <laughs> like, I loved it. I'm in awe. Um, next question I have here is... Um, maybe give some more. I mean, we, I know we've discussed it a fair bit, but uh, can you add to the future and the direction of this podcast? Anything specifically that you, or that we want to, where we want to take it as mm. well? Good question. Do you want to go? I mean, a big thing is it's going to keep evolving. Yeah. Uh, the whole thing is we want to keep um, providing the right type of content. So the right type of stories and things that will inspire builders. Mm. But give them value, whether it's little nuggets that they get through it. Yeah, and that's relevant of the time they're in. Exactly. Because yeah. I think the, the biggest way you learn or you grow as a person is who you surround yourself with. Mm. And sometimes it's hard to surround yourself with people when you're not, like when you don't have those type of builders mm. in your area or whatever. But if you hear someone else and you're kind of surrounding yourself on the podcast and you're listening to what they're going through and how they're thinking about it, you're picking up these little things from that that then yeah ultimately yeah it can impact your business yeah but getting back to the question again what was your question james just so i kind of sticking can you add some that. more meat to the bones on the future of this podcast yeah. and the direction yeah. specifically you want to take it in yeah 
I think for me, like one thing I would love, and maybe it's something we we should implement from our side is is um, getting feedback from the market, like the audience mm. listening to this. Like, what do they want to listen to? What what problems are they having? And maybe getting, that, getting even more of that. Yeah, yeah, and then maybe like asking those questions to the builders that we get on the podcast. Yeah, totally. Because like we can come up with questions, and we've got you know Mr. Question right here, <laughs> but um, <laughs> like. Yeah, the market, like the audience is the most important thing of this podcast. Yep. It's not the builder that we're interviewing. It's not us. Um, it's it's the audience listening to this and the value that it actually provides them and their business and their life. Mm. So, yeah, for us, it's important. And I think that's why we want to, we'll have a like a website for mm. like feedback or comments yeah. in YouTube or I think you can do comments in podcasts. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, us like getting that feedback and being able to like deliver and, and, and if you know of someone that has, uh, if you know of another builder that has yeah. a really cool story that could be really inspiring and impactful to other builders, yeah, yeah put them forward. Like, because totally. that could be really cool. It's just, yeah, it's telling those stories of those guys. Yeah, that's something, probably I'll add. I know we've discussed it is um, the stories that we want to be telling moving forward is other builders in the industry. Mm. We, we don't even have to know them no. or, or work Correct. with them, but if Correct. they've got a really powerful inspiring story because no one gets to a successful level whatever that everyone that's different for everyone but no one gets there without hardship you don't just wake up one day and you're successful uh you don't just doesn't happen overnight you know the biggest joke i know you hear of these overnight successes and um it's like yeah well because you only learned about me last night Mm. yeah but i've been grinding at this for 10 years 15 years you know whatever so i'd I'd love to get some like big builders on the podcast as well like what i mean by big builders is like the builders that a lot of our clients and so on look up to Mm. and they might not necessarily be builders anymore they might be like developers now and so on but yeah get them on there to tell that story yeah um because yeah i think for a lot of builders like building and having a building business is not the end game Mm. like you know us talking to a lot of builders that all have different end games a lot of them want to do their own like non-client work developments. Mm. Others want to like, yeah, create a business that just like runs kind of like without them, just more systemized, yeah. all that. So whatever that end game is, like I would love to, yeah, feature a fair few builders that have kind of like, in, and I'm in quotation, so if you're listening to this, like have made it, yeah. even though they will probably tell you like, yeah, I, you know, my problems are not gone. It's just different problems now. Yeah. Um, I don't think problems will ever go away. But yeah, just in terms of like the goals and so on that like a lot of our audience have. Yeah. yeah just again, inspired builders. Totally. I think of an example, you know, just recently we recorded a podcast and the, uh, the builder that we were chatting with was talking about he was being inspired by another builder he'd listened to. I can't remember if it was someone on our podcast or another one, but that builder had said, I, have, I made this big blunder. I missed this and it cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm. And this and you look at where that guy is now today, it's amazing. And this guy was really inspired by that because when he first went out on his own, first job, lost $100,000, $200,000 and has now worked his way back there, back from that, learned from that, put better systems and processes in place. Um, and it's, yeah, but felt inspired because he heard another builder had been through the hardship and had made it out the other side. Yeah, that's awesome. Exactly, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I hope everyone enjoyed the news. Um, we're pretty inspired. <laughs> Get it. And then, but yeah, I guess for you, Andre and JP, what's the one thing that you want, I guess, our audience and our listeners listening to this take away from today's episode? I'm trying to be the question man now. Yeah, good. That's um, good. If you're thinking, Andre, I'll, I'll start. I, just, I, I don't want to think about anything. I don't want to say anything that you're going to say, though. No, that's all right. Uh, mine would be, like this name change and this new direction has come from feedback mm. and we're so grateful for it. And so I just want to encourage those, listen to this, you know, text, call, leave comments, email, reach out. Feedback. You know, feedback because mm. it's it's what you're, the guys listen to this, guys out there, guys and girls, it's what you're wanting is what we want to put on here for you to learn from and it's not, who. It's not our podcast, it's your podcast. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Gee, that's cheesy. <laughs> But it's true yeah. though, like, yeah, yeah. For us, it's like, it's, it's about providing again, um, value. Yeah. yeah. We're just, I see this platform, this, um, 
is just a, 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 a platter to put the content on there that people are asking yeah. for. Yeah. I think for me, it's like, have a look at like, yeah, ask yourself the question, like how inspired are you at the moment? Like in your business? I know like with the, you know, where the economy and the market, all that, like it can get people down quite a bit, but yeah, just ask yourself like how inspired are you and are you actually inspiring others? Like are you inspiring your team? Are you inspiring your clients? Are you inspiring other builders? Um, I know for a fact, like it's, it's a lot easier to inspire others than to first inspire yourself. And I've just personally found that, you know, if, if I make it my, kind of like my daily commitment, like I'm, I'm going to go out there today and just inspire someone, make, make someone else's life better and easier, then like it naturally like happens to me with my mindset. Whereas if I start the day, I'm like, okay, cool. I want to be inspired today. It, yeah, it just doesn't work as well. But that's yeah. maybe just me. But yeah. Yeah. I've, I've heard that good. and read that as well. Is mm. if, yeah. you've, if you're putting others first, let me go and help. Who can I help today? Mm. Then you're going to end up with a way better, positive, stronger yeah. mind, healthier mind than wallowing on yourself yeah and i mean if you look at it from a business point of view that is actually just what you're doing yeah you are helping others like if you're a builder you are helping them like build their home yeah. so they can have you're helping them they transform can live their in life. that home and they can enjoy that home and transform their life like that is actually what you're doing already yeah so yeah maybe just like i guess focusing on that is a it's a huge one yeah so that's my my biggest i guess takeaway that i want people to walk away with yeah i think it's as Cornet says surround yourself with others just go like other builders or other people that you know and like this podcast is obviously one of the, the ways um and even if you you know hear of a story on the podcast like like contact that person mm. you don't know what's what can come from that so the big thing is yeah create a little um a little book club with yeah. you and other builders and where you guys all listen to the podcast <laughs> together and then no, it's that could yeah. be cool. Yeah, totally. That could be a cool vision. I would love to hear that happen in yeah. terms of feedback, yeah. like just naturally. Yeah. Well, who knows? We talked about a year from now. A year from now, we, we host an event and we look at who is the most popular podcast and we invite those people to come speak panel. on a panel. Nice. Perfect. And then yeah. builders can come and attend and just shoot them hollow with questions. Yeah. yeah. Some real good questions so yeah. a lot of good ideas and yeah. i'm inspired and jp's got to run to a meeting no i was gonna say that that'll be i'm just looking at the date we'll be running that event yeah. um next september nice yeah. Yeah. all right done let's, let's lock it in, awesome, <laughs> lock guys. It in <laughs> thanks Fantastic. guys thanks guys thank you two inspired builders eh?